Do not doubt the direction we are heading and the destination we will reach. We've all heard the news that a president can only do so much. If that is the case, then why has this one been allowed to run amok? From Benghazi to Obamacare to illegals, now everywhere he's bringing America to her knees. With his harmful agenda both in our land and internationally. God bless and have mercy on America once again. We've all been hoodwinked by electing a communist Kenya. Please forgive us and restore dignity to our land. By sending your blessings and mercy on America once again. Executive orders are now how he chooses to rule our great country. It's no longer let's negotiate, his arrogance and mindset are not funny. He thinks that he's a king, and if you disagree with him, then you're considered a racist. His allies and camaraderies defend him endlessly. Their behavior is downright tasteless. But God bless and have mercy on America once again. We've all been hoodwinked by electing a communist Kenya. Please forgive us and restore dignity to our land by sending your blessings and mercy on America once again. You think electing the first black president would have improved race relations. Now the divide has grown both far and wide. He's only splitting up this great nation. Solovinsky's plan is working the book he dedicated to the devil. Yeah, ruse for the radicals is now being followed by our leader right down to the letter. But God bless and have mercy on America once again. We've all been hoodwinked by electing a communist Kenya. Please forgive us and restore dignity to our land. By sending your blessings and mercy on America once again. God bless and have mercy on America once again. We've all been hoodwinked by electing a communist Kenya. Please forgive us and restore dignity to our land. Sending your blessings and mercy on America once again. Thanks for listening.